Now there's a number of reasons you may consider changing the suspension on your FRS BRZ86. One of those reasons could be for aesthetic, just lowering the vehicle so it looks better, or it could be to improve the handling. Now, for our challenge, we had basically any type of choice open to suspension. We could have went to a full race, uh, triple adjustable, crazy $20,000 shock system, or we could have went to something entry level. Now, we skewed towards the entry level end. We sourced suspension techniques, the ST coilover system, where the only adjustment on the system is just the height adjustment. So that allowed us to get the height adjustment perfect on the vehicle, to corner balance the vehicle, but all the dampening would be exactly the same through all the vehicles. So we took out the sources of error of us not making the correct dampening adjustment on one of the, one of the shock absorbers by doing that. That gives you an idea of the good level of suspension upgrade. Now, through the ST line and through the KW suspension line, which is, you know, the brother-sister companies, there's even more options available. Um, you can go to having the damper adjustment, to having adjustable top hats that let you do some improvements to the uh, suspension geometry and alignment. And there's many other things you can do, especially, you know, external reservoirs, double adjustability, and it can get really complex, but it is one of the best ways to get your car quicker on the track. But for this test, the ST entry-level product is what we put on the cars, and it worked quite well. While the coilover system gives us the adjustability to get the ride heights uh, perfect and to corner balance the vehicle, we're looking for a little bit more to improve the handling. By adding the suspension technique sway bar kit, we were able to keep the car more planted and, and flatter in all the turns. It's an anti-roll bar sway bar, many names for it, but the process and the procedure and what it does is it keeps that car flatter in the turns. It basically lets both sides of the suspension kind of work better together uh, to keep the car flatter.